plastic. All right. Well, most of you guys will already know that this is now out. Yay. I've been very excited. Oh my, I've annoyed all my friends with it. Um, and yeah, so just as normal, this is just going to be a, a good, un I don't say good, but it's going to be an unboxing. You've probably seen a trillion of these already. So I'm just jumping in to be like everyone else for once rather than being late. So Hey, let's get this started. So, uh, we have these, as you've probably seen already, we have this beautiful artwork as one of the posters, as I've had there and over there. We've got another one, nice Space Marines. I do like the colour in this one where it's coming up, sorry, mm. coming up on screen, it's very blue, um, but actually it's super dark grey, um, but that's just how the camera wants to pick it up. Um, I'd also like to point out that along the edges of the box there's this all beautiful artwork going pretty much all the way around, especially here, um, where you can see like they've got blood angels, salamanders, I'm gonna say that is dark angels, imperial fist, um, iron hands, and then I'm going to say white scars, maybe. And then all screens all the way down the side, and then more Necrons. So, beautiful artwork down the side, but let's take that off and reveal all the sprewy goodness. So, there's a lot of this. We'll go through that in a second because you've probably seen tons of it. Now, I haven't opened this yet. Um, I've only taken the plastic wrap off, so. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll go through the sprues in a second. Uh, we've got a second poster. So that's dividing the sprues from all our books. So we've got a typical advertising. I think that's for the, yep, for the new Gav Thorpe book. Really cool. I look forward to actually getting my hands on that one. Edge of Silence. I believe that is the little uh, story behind all this, plus... Yeah, it's the instructions for it as well. So there's uh, instruction book, and then I'm guessing it'll be like a campaign book kind of a thing. Uh, then we have this big thick boy. Uh, that's your rule book. Pretty sweet in my opinion. I look forward to going through it. That's super heavy. Um, it's like probably 99% of the weight of this box. Uh, then we have a real big uh sheet of transfers here i look forward to having more for my um blood angels which i'm really happy there are some there pity they're only in yellow would be nice to have them in different colors but oh well ultramarines at the top blood angels space walls are there that's cool dark angels meh don't really care but there you go um, so that's on there. And then we have these little dividers, which I'm guessing might be holding the different bases. But let's just have a quick look. Yep. Bike bases, things like that. And then more bases on the other side. Um, so yeah, that's what's in the box. Let's get over to the sprues and stuff, shall we? And just have a good quick look at all those. And um, yeah, give me a sec. Yes, I am aware that I said I would do the sprues, but I'm gonna go to the rule book because we'll get to the sprues in a second. Um, rule book's really, really cool. Like I said, it's really super heavy, but that's because it's um, a 368, 340, oh, 370 page book um, with a big heavy cover on it. Um, the only problem that I have going through it is not really a problem. It's just if this is going to be a rule book, I wish it was a bit smaller because it's 191 pages. Before you get to the rules, I kid you not. Sorry. 
194 before we even start the rules. Um, so a lot of it is just showcases, going through all the factions and different things like that before you even get to the rules. So carrying this around is going to be a bit of a pain. Um, I really hope they bring in a very, very smaller version of this. Um, but for the meantime, you know what? I'm happy. Um, sit down before a game, if, you know, time's going on, go through it. No problem. Uh, I'm really liking the way the rules are set out. Uh, it's This at this point is not new information, but I love how it goes through, say, tells you it. But then it got the dot point, so you can really hammer in um, what the rule really is, as well as things down the side, uh, which gives you examples. But if you're failing that, it has a glossary. And that makes me really, really happy because it means like, oh, what is fly? You can quickly turn to F and find it or declaring a charge and bang. What's a detachment? That type of thing. You've got it all here, um, which I'm really happy about. I'm lo loving the new rules. I'm loving watching all the battle reports. Hopefully I can get a couple in um, soon when, I, when we all get out of this nightmare that is um, everything else. Also... I probably should have mentioned this too. It's it's got a bookmark. Sorry, my moccasins. Um, yeah, it has a bookmark, so you can instantly just put it straight to page uh, one ninety four and be done with it. Um, let's see what Edge of Silence is. All right, Edge of Silence. Um, I was right. It's just a law, like what's going on um, with the box and the awakening of the new Necrons. Um, yeah, Silent Kingdom, and it's got a little bit in there about the Pariah Crusade, and Arise the Art Agents, yep, and then we're going to go into the new Necron units. Um, so in here as well is your data cards for all the new models. Rah, as you can see here, so Prime Minister Captain, the new Lieutenant, Judica, or whatever, Primaris Chaplain, Blade Guard Veteran Squad, Blade Guard Agent, Outrider, the Assault Intercessor Squad, which is cool, um, Eradicator Squad, well, really nice pictures there, and then you got your Necrons with your new Overlord, the Royal Warden, which um, I really love that model, I can't wait to build it and get it painted. Um, the plan Plasmancer, uh, Scorp Tech Lord, and Scorp Tech Destroyer. Destroyers, sorry. Um, and then so on and so forth through all of them. Um, yeah, that's it. It's really nice, heavy card. I, I like that book a lot. And then the other one that was with it is literally just the instructions on how to build everything. Um, to scale templates, so you know what bases go with what, but at this point they all seem to have the exact same um, size base. There's only a few of them that are much larger. And as we see here. And just like that, I say it's time to move on to the sprues. And like I said, we'll have a look a bit at the sprues, shall we? Except for I decided to go ahead and build all of them. So we're gonna go through this really quick. Um, what you see right now is the Primaris Captain. Sorry for the shakiness. I am trying to do this nicely. Uh, Primaris Captain. Typical Captain kind of stuff. Um, really nice. I love the... I'm loving this model. I can't wait to... Um, I don't have a um, Lady Susan to get this thing to spin, but... Yeah, I can't wait to actually get this guy painted up. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, so that's the Primaris Captain. And then, boom, you got the Primaris Lieutenant. Lieutenant. However you want to pronounce it depends on what part of the world you're in. Um, again, really cool model. I'm really liking the detail. Uh, really easy to put together. He was quite nice. Um, again, next we have the really cool looking Primaris Chaplain. Um, again, should be lots of fun to paint up, um, and yeah, 
Okay, oh, him. This bad boy, the Justicar, or Judicar. There's no S in it, sorry. Um, Judicar. Uh, big broadsword, nice. I love the hourglass at the front. Uh, very something different, so I was really happy with that one. We move into the Blade Guard Veterans. Um, these are really, really cool. Again, nice, awesome looking shields, big swords, um, very bulky. Um, looking guys I look forward to uh, again getting these all painted up I'm moving through these guys really quickly um, I will do a more in-depth um, go through once they're all painted and here we have the blade guard ancient um, typical guy with the banner nothing really has changed there too much it's just a nice nicer looking guy with a banner um, and a little bit of a skull hand there um, then we move into the Assault Intercessors. Um, everyone seems to be loving these more and more. Um, I've gone ahead and um, done a little bit of modification here and there, just to make them a bit more Blood Angel-y, um, to fit into my, into my squads. Not by much, just change the helmets. There's not a lot of things you can actually do with them since it's push fit. Uh, but we'll go through that in a second. Hikers, um, quite an interesting one. I screwed up here, I'll have to fill that in, but um, these guys are actually pretty cool. I really do dig the bikes. I've got a, it's got a big Judge Dread vibe to them, um, which, trust me, makes me really happy. Uh, but yeah, bikers, it's nice to see. I can't wait to actually get them out and um, painted and playing with them, because... They should be fun to run. For the Marines, we have the er Eradicator squad. Um, yeah, just Primaris with big giant melter rifles. Um, yep, they're called melter rifles. Um, it is a 24 inch assault one weapon, but it just, it's essentially melter. Um, so yeah, awesome. And as we continue, we have the Necrons with the new Overlord. Um, I really enjoyed putting this guy together. He went together really simple. Um, but yeah, so on his side there, we've got his Tachyon Arrow and Hyperface Glaive. So that is kind of awesome. And now we move on to the Royal Warden. Everyone seems to be loving this guy in battle reports that I've been watching. Um, and... Yeah, I can kind of understand why I probably will have him in pretty much every Necron list that I run, hopefully, soon. And here we have one of the weirder ones. Um, this is called a Plasmancer. Um, yeah, he he's a weird one, but what are you going to do? Now for the big guy, the Scorpect Lord. Um, I'm butchering that name, but... There we go in all his giant glory. Um, he's not small. Uh, big claws, giant sword, weapon, you name it. He's awesome. I really like him. He should be fun. Move into the um, Scorfec Destroyers. Um, essentially, as I can see, they're close combat destroyers. So that's actually really cool. I really like them. I do like the poses. Um, they're kind of awesome, and then you've got a plasmacite um, little dude at the front here who goes with them. Um, yeah, I'll go through more of him in a different video. Ah, crypto thralls. What are these guys are called? Um, yeah, they're not entirely sure what they're for. I haven't read the book too much yet, so. Um, I just know the name of them, and I haven't really seen them used in any battle reports, so, um, yeah, very interesting in them, but again, more detail in a different video. This is actually quite a big model, um, let's say hand. Um, so this is a Canoptic Reanimator, essentially anything within nine inches at the start of a command phase, you can add one to reanimation protocols, uh, which is pretty cool, so you you got an easier chance of getting more things back. Um, back on the field from your reanimation. Here are 10 new warriors. Um, 
yeah, they're, they're all kind of beat up and they've got chunks missing from them and their their bodies are all decaying and falling apart. Um, I found that quite interesting um, when putting them together. So they're a lot of fun. Some are missing jaws and things like that. Uh, so these guys just got your normal Gauss flayers. Um, and then... And then I did 10 with your Gauss Reapers. Um, these are essentially almost pretty much the same thing, except for they've got a 14 inch range instead of 24. Um, strength five, minus two AP, one damage, uh, but still rapid fire one. So yeah, they're cool. Same thing again, chunks of the face missing and whatnot, just a shorter rifle to go with them. Lastly, uh, we've got the Canoptic Scarab Swarm. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to actually redoing the basing and maybe changing these up just a little bit because at the moment they're on these little rock stands in the back and then they can, so they're kind of raised up where I prefer them crawling over things um, a bit more. But yeah, so they're the Canoptic Scarab Swarm. We have it guys, that is the whole contents of the Indomitus box, all summed up, built, looking all pretty. Um, I look forward to painting these. Um, I'm hopefully going to keep my word and maybe do a painting tutorial, but I don't know why. kind of suck at that stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a long one. I'm really tired. I've been working hard. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy your boxes if you manage to get one or if you're holding out for the second release because that was the only way you could get one. Um, but yeah, cheers guys. Um, I am going to do the YouTube thing, so if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, much appreciated, thanks guys, and I will see you guys in the next video, cheers.